Okay, Hello, question. welcome back to the He's Wrong, She's Right podcast, the podcast where 50-year-old white men in America are searching for big breasts on YouTube and they find my wife. You guys are sickos. Go to a real site like Kanye's new site. Is it Yeezy? I think that's what it's called. I don't know. There's speculation that it's all clickbait. It's, everything is clickbait. This podcast is clickbait. Oh, okay. We just <laughs> we need to make money somehow. Podcast dog is here too. Hi, guys. And we're going to roll the intro in post, so... You gotta keep talking. Oh yeah? Yeah. Since I am working without my laptop today, we got the desktop over there and there's too much going on and all my contacts in. Oh, well, the fuck is happening? Everything seems like it's going okay, but we're not monitoring anything. So who knows? Yeah, who knows? We're gonna but, try and- we're gonna, the dog crawling all over yeah. me. We're gonna try and keep this episode to a, a, a length of time. of time a length of time it's very specific and it is very specific it's very pacific as some people would say okay yeah so what do you think about we literally just talked about kanye we might as well go back to talking about kanye okay what do you think about him starting his own his own you think he's gonna pay for like premium models do you think this is gonna be like the next yeah i think it'll be modeled after only fans but i don't know maybe there'll be production and everything but He's apparently a self-proclaimed addict, so this is uh, a... How'd you find this out? It it was all part of the article that I saw. Ah, Uh, Self-proclaimed? It was a couple years ago before he married Kim. So So he watched Kim and Ray J, and I was like, I want some of that. (laughs) Probably. Gotcha. I understand that. Probably. Understood. Did you watch that video? No, I've never seen that video. I've never seen a single video or a celebrity sex video. None. none. Not even like the clips taken out of none. context that Literally people use for none. clickbait. Okay. I didn't want to infect my computer with any kind of <laughs> malware. There or are steps that you can take. Well, no, thank you. Visit, no, thank you. Visit America's Technology Center for Excellence, <laughs> Lee Max Media. To watch com. porn. No, I will. <laughs> I will help you configure your computer properly. <laughs> to be able to better yeah. watch. Porn. Yeah, we'll get you set up on a, a VPN that you self-host. That way, oh, you're yeah? not, that way you're not paying for a VPN that steals your information. Okay. Okay. Get you around these restrictions that like North Carolina and Texas. Wait a second. Are you encouraging that I start watching? Or are you talking to I'm the talking to audience? I'm talking to them. Okay. If you want to set up your own uh, self-hosted VPN, you can do so for as little as $5 if you use Outline VPN by Jigsaw, which is a lab owned by Alphabet who owns Google. Okay. It's a research project for, um, uh, what are they called? Journalists for journalistic freedom. What are they called? No, that's, it's called, (laughs) it's called outline, outline VPN. No, you had to think on the name, on the term journalist for way too long. What are they called? Like these made up. (laughs) The ones that actually live in countries where they're censored and stuff like that. You, because see what happens is if you have, if you have a, uh, a production VPN from one of these disreputable companies that are just selling your information anyway. So rather than your ISP selling your information, they're selling your information. Okay. Um, they have specific static IP addresses. So if your country is like, we don't want you to use VPN. If you use a VPN, we're going to throw you in jail like Iran or Russia or whatever. They all, they'll know right away as soon as you connect that you're trying to get around whatever the law is and you're going straight right to jail, just like the meme. Straight right to, to jail. jail. Yeah. It's okay. actually right to jail. I thought it was straight to jail too, but it's oh, right to jail. I've always yeah. thought that it was straight to jail. Okay. Podcast dog, you got to go. Okay. <laughs> so did you hear that OnlyFans is coming out with AI generated girlfriends for a dollar a minute? Dollar a minute? Yeah. A dollar a minute. No, that's too much. Yeah. So you that can make it yourself. Between, for free. between Yeezy's site an AI generated girlfriend, would you consider that cheating? If you were married, like having an AI girlfriend, is that like the new loophole to, oh, well, I'm technically not cheating because it's a, it's a fucking robot. It's made up. It's, it's just like people okay, say yeah. that people say that it's not cheating because it's all imaginary. Okay. So, so what is your take? So then? an AI generated girlfriend well, would take? be on what is your take? that same scope if it's if it's, 
if it, no. is it purely based on the intimacy aspect or is it physical touch? Like what is what is your definition well, you, of cheating? You you can still cheat on somebody without actually touching somebody. It's an emotional affair at that point. Okay, that's what I'm asking. If that's right, so I think it still falls within that line. Okay. You've you've developed feelings, whether it's just sexual or otherwise, for this person, even if this person is AI generated. I don't know. I was just curious what you thought about it. I think a dollar minute is stupid. <laughs> Anybody that does that is stupid. Go and download it's called Pinocchio. This is for people that are not very savvy. Okay? So are so you, you telling people to make your own? No, just not even just that. It, like any sort of, if you're doing something with AI for yourself, for your business, for your family, whatever, it doesn't matter. You should be doing it on a machine within the confines of your home or your business or your data center, not somebody else's. All of that data and information is being used to train their models. It's being sold. It's being used for marketing purposes. It's going to be used against you potentially in the in courts. Mm -hmm. There's no hiding it. You need to bring that home. Download Pinocchio. It's P-I-N-O-K-I-O. And you can install all the various different models and software packages on your own machine. You can do everything in your own home. You want to run a large language model like ChatGPT, you can do that at home. You want to generate images, you can do that at home. You want to face swap, you can do that at home. You want to create music, you can do that at home. You want to create videos based on an, a single image, you can do that at home. You may not have very powerful hardware that can do it very efficiently, but you can do it at home. And it'll cost you less money too, especially if it's a dollar a minute. That's dumb. Dumb. How much do you think an actual, um, what are they called? Um, escort charges per minute just to talk? Because that's... In real life though. Yeah. yeah. What do you, just to talk, what do you think an escort I, would... I doubt it's per minute. It's probably per hour. Right. But you could divide it by 60. Mm, I would say at least $100 an hour. But you have a physical person. Mm -hmm. and you have a physical person who you're out in public with, yeah. whether it's eating dinner, going to the theater, whatever the case may be, yeah. as your companion, yeah. not just on the computer. And you're probably not going to have a subscription with them. And you're probably not going to call them every day. Oh. And you're probably not going to go out to dinner with them every day. I'm sure if it was up to some... Some clients, they would every day. Do you think is hurting our country? That's a that's a theory that, I guess not even a theory, that's a belief that mm -hmm. a lot of people, there are entire groups and organizations dedicated to removing from America, which is never going to work. Let's just be clear about that. All you're, all you're really doing is incentivizing people. I don't think it's an American issue. I think that it is readily available for very young minds to find too easily. That's not the industry's fault. Right. I, That's I, parents' I don't, fault. I don't think it's an American issue. I, okay. I think it's it it's our culture into it is extremely sexualized. What well sex sells the industry has driven the technology industry forever mm -hmm. they're right now they're finding ways and loopholes around this and or provoking you to contact your state local federal politicians because they they know you're you're still going to get it okay. people in north carolina that really want to get rather than going to pornhub now Actually, we should. We're supposed to be saying like, "I'll change the word in post, maybe, if I remember." If they really want to find it, the adult industry. If they really want to find it, they just won't go to Corn Hub anymore. Mm -hmm. They'll go to Reddit, or Twitter, or Tumblr, or still other sites that they can find directly on Google. You can find those images right in Google search. You just turn Safe Search off, or just open up Instagram, and you'll see there you go half naked girls. Yeah. I just think their boobs everywhere. I just, I just saw, and that's because it tells. 
they're only doing that because they're making money from it. If they weren't making money from it, they would find something else to do. So, um, I completely lost my train of thought there. I was going somewhere with that and I don't remember. Anyways, the whole, the whole industry, both technology and, um, corn is basically in a, I don't know, like a one-upping match or what, what do you call that? Like a tit for tat, like this changes. So they find this loophole or they create something new, or there's always, there's always something. Think about it like this. Everybody that has like the, um, link tree or whatever links in their profile, Okay. you go to it and those, those services, they see, Oh, it's link tree. It's not only fans. It's link tree. Mm-hmm. Right. So it's a safe link. Okay. So all you have to do is go one layer deeper. Mm-hmm. And now you've entered the realm of easy access. Okay. But because they don't want to block Linktree because Linktree is used for legitimate purposes, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Like it's, there's always something. There's always something. There's been bots and I think they're mostly gone now or or at least I've filtered out the, the words on Twitter, which is an awesome feature on Twitter, by the way. They were, uh, everybody uses or used to use when they're promoting something, especially on Instagram because you couldn't embed links in your, your posts on Instagram. Mm-hmm. You have they to would, put in your profile, yeah, right? Link in bio, link in bio, mm-hmm. whatever. So the bots started saying that. Free pussy, link in bio. And they would like spamming everything on Twitter. And then because people were blocking the phrase link in bio, they put spaces between the letters. And then they started, there was like, a, um, I don't even know what it is. It's like it's like a uh, an array of dots. like a So it's like a character-wide space okay but it's just dots so it still said link in bio but it was just spaced out more okay and i would only ever see this because other people were responding to it saying hey elon hey twitter get these bots off twitter like if you guys would just stop responding to them and giving them engagement they would lose their foothold responding to them retweeting them quoting them whatever is only helping them spread. Who do you think are behind the bot? All, I mean, the sites themselves, the creators. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of them are malicious phishing attempts. Mm-hmm. You know, you go to whatever site redirect, be a man in the middle attack. There's so there's a there's a billion different things. If you're dumb enough to click on those links, you're the, probably the same people, same person that was like forwarding chain emails 15, 20 years ago and clicking on links in that and having all of your information stolen. That's why you don't have any children because you didn't forward those emails that said that you would be infertile. There you go. Totally joking. There you go. That's, maybe that's true. We'll, <laughs> we'll never know. You, can never, you can't prove the negative, so we're just shit out of luck. Mm-hmm. Um, but I did see that Instagram, which this is both a good thing and a bad thing. Instagram is going to blur Alyssa images sent to Myers. However... That means that Instagram is scanning all of your images that are being sent in your messages. Everything. That's the only way. Oh, can you stop? She's licking her. She's licking her lack of balls down here. So yeah, every, I mean, they're already scanning it anyways. You're stupid if you're sending any information through any apps messaging service, especially stuff like that. You got away with it now. You're not going to, they're like. They're still, they're retroactively going back through stuff. Just look at all the people that are getting in trouble on Facebook for memes that they posted 15 years ago. It lives forever. Have you gotten in trouble? Yeah. Twice just this year. Yeah? Yeah. Tell us about it. I almost got in trouble today. Oh yeah? What'd you do? Um, I told somebody they were trying to say that uh, something about their intelligence because they went to school and I was like, the amount of time that you went to school has nothing to do with how intelligent you are. That just means that you were able to pass a couple classes. Doesn't mean that you. I meant regarding memes from your past. That oh no, been... I'm getting to that. Oh, okay. You said, "How did I get in trouble yeah. today?" So I'm okay. having to tell the story. Okay. So I say all that. You know, I'm telling them don't conflate your education with your actual intelligence, and then I call them a pine cone. And I got immediately when I pressed send or post or whatever, Facebook hit me with the little thing, and I took a screenshot of it. People are. People have flagged messages like this as harassment and bullying on metal products. Pine cone? Yeah. Well, the whole the whole message. But yes, mm-hmm. when I edited it and I removed pine cone, mm-hmm. it went through without issue. So mm-hmm. 
What a pain in the ass. Yeah, you told me like a year ago that pinecone is the new term that they're flagging. Well, no, it's the term that people are using, but now they're flagging it. Right. So you should have known better. No, I've been using it. But the other problem is your content when you post publicly Mm -hmm. gets flagged faster because it's being presented to people that will potentially engage with your content. And the majority of people that engage with content from people that they don't know are people that are mad about something that's anybody that engages with the news they're mad about what the news is saying they know that the news is just creating clickbait content but they're still engaging with it extending the audience of the news being mad at the news and responding to the news is literally doing what the news wants to make money if you just stop engaging with it they'll stop doing it because they'll stop making money it's a very simple but psychologically our monkey brains are incapable of doing that monkey brain yes monkey brain okay monkey brain monkey brain what are we talking about next stuff stuff and stuff things and yeah. things i yep. knew you're gonna say that no you didn't can you even see the clock down there how far in are we we haven't talked about nona phelps.com all i see is 11 30 where am i looking the red dot oh, I don't have my 1657 people. i don't have my contacts then you guys should go to nona phelps.com to see all the good the good images there's like several of them actually if you want to see funny images go to our patreon support us there you can also get a one episode shout out on uh our website anywhere between 10 and 20 dollars go through the checkout process you'll be able to fill in what you want you cannot shout out your business i will not read it we will not read it if you try and shout out your business you just lose your money but we'll appreciate the support you're just not getting it back just names only if you want to put in a short message in there, whatever, that's fine. Not at all going to shout out your business. If there's anything other than your name in there, I'm not doing it. If you want to support us by sponsoring us, if you're a business, there's also a sponsor link in the description. You should also get subscribed and like this video and leave a rating and review on Apple and Spotify. We've got a couple funny responses to some of So you can create a, you probably haven't even seen this because I haven't shown you any of the post-production stuff. Mm -mm. You can create a question and a poll, one of each with every upload on Spotify. Okay. So uh, Patrick responded when I posed the question on the alpha video Hmm. podcast episode. I said, are you an alpha male or do you know one or something like that? And he said something about um, being a marshmallow, something weird. Yeah. And if I like your, if I like your response, I can share it on the Spotify onto the episode so i'm comment. i'm literally speechless right now comment on youtube if you're a man because we know the majority of our audience on youtube are men mm-hmm. leave us a comment let us know who you are let us know what you're creeping about in youtube search we know that in in order you're looking for big boobs big breasts and belly breasts. buttons yeah well that got them to that video but i i'm like genuinely curious like who's into belly button play like what the fuck is that about how how what why where where did that come from i need to know do you think it's any better or worse than feet oh god i've never understood that either so the theory that girls have about this is that guys have been using their own socks to clean up their cum for years and so that's girls theories on guys foot obsession is that it's actually stemming from cleaning up their own cum with their socks but none of us know like what obviously you don't have a foot fetish so you can't answer this so if you have a foot fetish please please tell us like where does it come from because i don't think feet are beautiful they don't turn me on we know we know where it comes from (laughs) But where does your mindset? Yeah. And then derive? now I need to know about the belly button play. Like, because we saw that people were finding our podcast looking for belly button play and that that turns them on. I, I'm just genuinely curious. Like, where does that come what from? Was, what was the episode? Hold on. I got to pull this up now because I, I didn't even think about the context of why people would have found that specific video that I sent you the analytics for. Like, well, you put it on I, I know, the look- title. And we only talked about belly buttons for no, like no, 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 no. The the video that I sent you the analytics for the other day, that was the small PP deep dives, big laughs in Hollywood. Mm-hmm. 
and 8,000 impressions were big boobs, boob job, flat chested, huge boobs, and podcast in that order. That's what you guys were searching for on mm -hmm. YouTube. On YouTube, you were searching for big boobs, mm -hmm. huge boobs, mm -hmm. and flat chested. So now I need to know what's the difference between big boobs and huge boobs? What, what, what's the difference? Does, is big boobs stop at like triple D and huge boobs goes past that? Like what, what, where, where does the line draw? I think it's also the ratio to your frame of your body because you can have. And the bounceability. Yeah. You can have. Now you're getting turned on, aren't you? No. <laughs> you, you can have big boobs. Okay. But be a big person. Mm. And then they're not really big because they're small on you. If you okay. took what you have and applied them to. A five foot tall woman, mm -hmm. they're going to get down podcast dog. Her mommy's gone out of town. Mm -hmm. That's what she's sad. So she needs to be with us. Yeah. But if you were, I don't know. If, my I, was, height, if I was, if I was little, you would appreciate my boobs even more because no. they'd be even more bounceable and huge instead of just big. No. Mm hmm. Sure. If you were you if say. you were my height and you had those boobs, mm -hmm. they would not appear as big as they are. Oh, you you have some nice boobies. I I hit chest today at the gym. Come on, they actually do hurt. Oh, back consistently four days last week, four I'm days this week, you. three days the week before. Mm -hmm. Getting I'm my happy. getting my use out of that membership back to the back to the motherland gym. Yeah. yeah. And guess what, guys? <laughs> he saw the husband of the woman that he fucked in 2019 who didn't tell him that she was married and they had a one night stand. Now my turn on my problem. Not today. And I said, are you going to go up to him and say, hey, I dig down your wife. And he was like, I don't want to make him cry. I'm not good at consoling people for crying. I have autism. It's your fault. It's your problem. It's not mine. Right. So you just say it point blank. Guess what, guy? Put it in your wife for you. I did you a solid. Yeah. I'm genuinely curious, though. Are they still together? I, that, I wanted I, to know. I'm not. I'm not. I wanted to know. I know that. that you're not. I and noticed that he was wearing a ring, though. He okay. Came in... I've literally gone through a divorce and gotten married again since 2019. So he could have as well. Like, for all you know, they've gone through a divorce and he's okay. remarried as well. Okay. So <laughs> maybe anything is possible. We will never know. And I don't care. We'll just pretend they were on a break. And for those of you who are friends, diehards, you would know what I'm getting at. You know, you said you misspoke. On the last episode, when you were talking about diehard Taylor Swift fans, you said die all. And I just left it incorrect in the... Die all? Yeah. Yeah, die all, not die all. Yeah, but you said, die, like, nobody says die all. It's die hard. So I just <laughs> left the transcript the way it is because people will engage with typos and in, in, if they watch it. Okay. Yeah. This is also... So I understand that part of it is leaving incorrect things both in the video without correcting yourself without producing like a retraction or anything is going to get engagement okay. and then it also means that i can do less work i don't have to go back and scrub through the transcript if i do the engagement will go down thank you for making my life easier internet i'm not going through all those transcripts you know how long that takes they actually pay people to do that they pay people to transcribe audio as well. Not anymore with AI stuff, but mm -hmm. now they just pay people to go through and make, make corrections. Okay. Especially like when you actually, when people do want to consume closed captioning mm -hmm. and are actually looking at the subtitles and consuming the content, then sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on. Like you're not watching us. If you're deaf, you're not watching this show. If you're deaf, you're probably watching something entertaining. Not the number one most boring podcast. No, absolutely not. <laughs> oh, um, going back to, uh, no, I was going to try and thought. I had something there. Mm. Completely lost it again. Oh, I know what it is. Chechnya is banning music that's too fast or too slow. You have to be just right. So it's Goldilocks of the music world? Yeah. yeah. 
So do you think who is the determining factor? Like, do they have like a new? There's, there's a tempo that you have to stay within. Oh my god! <laughs> what the? Fuck? Yeah, yeah. It's not. That's it's like so it's random. whatever their equivalent of like a felony is over there. Yes. Yeah. If you produce, listen to whatever anything outside of their prescribed range, you're going straight to jail. Right to jail. Uh, like, wh why though? I don't understand. I don't know. But loose wasn't that what that movie was about? No. What the, was the what the was... town was no dancing. They weren't allowed to dance because that involved touching and that would be too permissive. Why do you why do you think slow dances would be disallowed? Because there's too much touching. That's my interpretation at least. Okay, but fast is like techno and like you're you can't dance with anybody for that. What do you think people do at raves? They're all like rubbing their bodies against each other. Like they're they... high on ecstasy and they're just feeling themselves. So maybe that's why. Hey, if we ban the fast music, is she going to bark? Is she going to podcast dog? Don't bark. Podcast dog, come here. Come here. Okay, so sorry we had to pause it for a second. People across the street have a uh, nurse. Care. Yeah. Nurse. And I actually thought that was before this we started the podcast right when i thought they died yes <laughs> the, the woman was panicking i pulled in the driveway after dropping the kids off at school one morning and she walked over and was asking if i had seen them or heard anything or had seen any ambulances and i was like no and she's like i've been trying to get in i've called i've rang the doorbell and nobody's answering i'm about to call the police and or call 911 and i was like well there's two people that live there mm -hmm. so that would either be a very, very rare coincidence of both of them dying at the same time, murder, suicide, right. or natural causes and then suicide because they didn't want to live without him. Mm -hmm. And then our buddy Rick, that mm -hmm. was just over here yesterday, mm -hmm. telling us about his friend's dad that they found dead after like two 12, weeks. His uh, son went to check on him or something and walked in immediately when he opened the door, was hit with the, the stink, the smell. found him in the bathroom. His body was already rotting. Yeah, I have a suspected spam caller calling me. I don't know how. Thank you, Google, for blocking it. Um, yeah. So going back to the dancing stuff. Yes. I ran. A bunch of students at their college graduation apparently are all going right to jail for dancing at their what? graduation. Yes. We live in the best of, of times, in the greatest world. In the We do live in the best country, but we actually dropped out of the top 20 for uh, most happy and free country in the world. We're like number 25 now. We were number 13 previously. Let me guess. Somewhere around the Netherlands is number one. I have no idea. I feel like that's a very happy area. By the way, I found out that it wasn't the Netherlands that was trying to... I mean, there still could be people using it as a proxy to get to my servers and stuff, but um, the one Cloudflare and QuickCloud Lightspeed both have major data centers there, and some of the image optimization work that was being done for client sites, what they were, the optimization was happening on those servers and then being sent back to the site. In the sites, my my uh, firewalls were blocking traffic coming back. So it would send, but it was blocking it coming back. And that was the issue. Okay. So. Anyway. Anyways. We are going to do a couple of very fast episodes this week. I'm getting ready to go out of town. We got to crank through these. And I have work to do all mm. weekend long. I'm going to be so bored and so annoyed by three dogs. Whatever. You're going to be so happy Ooh. having an empty house, just you and the dogs. That's the way that you like it. I'm going to take a couple of pictures, all with different lighting, mm -hmm. looking like I'm working. But I'm really going to be sitting on the couch doing nothing. Oh, that's what I fully expect you to be doing for the next... 72 to there's no there's no college football though if there was college football or college hockey or i mean i okay we got the nhl playoffs going on right now i'll probably watch a little bit of that i'm sure you will yeah. your ass will grow roots on that couch and you will not move you'll probably sleep on the couch too no yeah no yeah no and you'll have all the dogs the only time i sleep on the, the only time you. i sleep on the couch is when it's like late and i know that if i walk into the room you're gonna wake up and have a bad day the next day so i just sleep on the couch but if it's like before 11 p.m., then I'll go brush my teeth. Or really, he's helping Yeezy set up his 
Sorry. I brush my teeth in complete darkness so that I won't turn the light on in the bathroom. And so that I don't wake myself up. Mm -hmm. I walk all the way through our room, all the way to the bathroom. I have to go through the drawer, figure out if she's put a tube appointment in a convenient location or if it's the actual toothpaste. And then, yeah. You make me sound like I have malicious intent. You might be one of those pranksters and I'm just... I have never pranked you. I'm always, I'm always ready. I'm always ready for the prank. I think you've tried to prank me. Nope. Yeah. I have never tried to prank you. You're just trying to build up to the ultimate prank. No, the only thing that I have surprised you with is a surprise birthday party. Yeah, that was but good. I have never pranked you. That was good. That was fun. People showed up, brought dildos to the bar. That was yeah. We stuck that was them his to the favorite. window with uh, stuck them to the window with children present. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Gave them a unicorn hood ornament as they left. Did you ever find out they used it? Then we saw one. Uh, on the road. You want to pull up the picture? They might be able to see. No, I won't see it. It's because it's in the rear view mirror and it's already, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, somebody had tossed it out of their car window when, and it uh, was just by the stop sign. Yeah, an episode that you guys haven't seen yet. Mm -hmm. um, we got some work to do on it. I don't know. It's almost four hours long, so I don't know how long that's going to take to to work through fixing the audio and editing and cutting it up into multiple segments, whatever. It might just go on Patreon. Who knows? That's what you can but, do this weekend instead of sitting on the couch. So much effort. So much effort doing the thing. I had a better computer. I had another $5,000 computer. That's your excuse for everything. Well, time is money. If I had a better computer, I wouldn't be overweight. If I had a better computer, I could watch better. If I had a better computer, the house would be cleaner. If I had a better computer, I'd actually put my laundry away. If I had a better computer, I would cook more. Do you know how much faster I could get work done instead of having a three-year-old computer if I had a brand new computer? Mm, okay. There's actually only one generation of hardware that's come out since then. So it's not like a phone where it's updated every year. There's really only one generation newer parts than what I have. Right. So you're not making a very good argument. I'm making the best argument. Oh, it, really? does, it does make a difference. Yeah, for watching your... I'm no, sure, but that's it. It's everything. Like... High speed, rather than in what's one notch below high speed, porn does, medium porn speed. Porn doesn't consume that much. Files are optimized really well. I'm sure they are. <laughs> you are speaking from experience, clearly. Nah. Mm-hmm. Nah. Mm-hmm. Nah. So, what time are we at? Clock woman. 35. 35 minutes. That is it. Are we done? Is that it for the day? There's a dog right there, so it's probably going to be up for the day. It's big time parking. Yep, Ooh, there we go. There Hold on. The Jump cut again. <laughs> Drama. Drama. Just kidding. It's people walking their dogs. Mm -hmm. If you can see this direction, you would see three windows that are wide open and podcast podcast dog patrolling mm -hmm. relentlessly. So, so, anything else? I think that's it, unless you want to talk more about your corn addiction. We've already said the other word too many times. We already <laughs> screwed that up. So, um, topics for the next episode are topics. So it'll be a good episode, though. I promise. These these fast paced episodes like this are going to be few and far in between because we like to drone on normally, but because we're trying to get all these done on Friday, April twenty sixth, to get out for next week, and all that good stuff, I can't be bothered with. A lot of work this weekend. I already have too much work on my plate. Come on, man. Go get you a shout out. Go visit the website. Go get you a shout out. Go get you a yeah, shout out. Yeah. 10 bucks. Throw in 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. Toss a couple bills our way. If your country is blocked from the website, use a VPN. Go to getoutline.org. Download it. There's some single click installation methods where, like, if you have a DigitalOcean account, it costs you $5 a month. And you can visit the website. You just have to be in one of the 140, no, 114 countries that I don't have blocked. Basically, if you're aligned with the axis, you're blocked. Okay. Russia, China, most of the African continent, because that's Africa is basically just China right now. Africa is China's China. So China is our China, right? Africa as a continent is China's China. That's where they have their manufacturing done mm -hmm. because they can go get poor labor and podcast dog is in here. Mm 
Mm-hmm. She's about to. She gonna hold. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, she thought about it. Anyways, we will catch you in the next episode. That will be tomorrow for you. Four days away for us. Goodbye. Goodbye. Subscribe. Mm-hmm.